Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and today I'd like to talk about does age impact orthopedic stem cell treatment success or outcome? We were the first practice on earth to inject stem cells into arthritic joints and torn tendons and ligaments. And unlike others who've treated patients with stem cells for orthopedic injuries, we've tracked all those patients in a registry. So through the years, we've looked for a relationship between age and poor outcomes. We really expected to see that since older patients have fewer stem cells, they would do more poorly. So based on our registry data, which is about 10,000 patients deep in our own research publications, that relationship largely doesn't exist. So this means that older patients do just as well as younger patients with a precise injection of their own stem cells. In fact, the only exception we've seen so far is with hip arthritis, and doing more poorly here seems to be as much a function of older age as it is the severity of the arthritis on x-ray or MRI. So despite this actual published research, we have chiropractors and others selling dead amniotic or cord blood tissue and falsely claiming that this is a live stem cell procedure. These same groups are claiming that young stem cells are needed for older patients because of all of this. Obviously, a young and dead stem cell is not more biologically active than an older live stem cell. In addition, our lab research demonstrated that these young tissues hurt older stem cells, not help them. So don't believe the amniotic scam is based on nothing more than thin air. Believe in the power of your own stem cells, even if they're older. In addition, leave the stem cells equals magic pixie dust crowd behind and get treated by the experts that invented orthopedic stem cell injections. For more information, see Regenix.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.